In this video, we're going to go through the steps now to add this as a secondary domain controller to an existing domain. So I've got one existing domain controller and the IP address on that is 192.168.1.10. So this first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to first rename if you haven't already done that. So I'm going to give this DC a name. Hit OK and give that a reboot. Then we're just going to log back in. So now we've changed the host name. Now we're going to give it a static IP address. So all your domain controllers should always have static IP addresses. So this one, the IP address will depend on your network. So you're going to need to talk to your network administrator to get a, an IP address. So I'm just in a lab. So I'm just going to create this address. Now for the uh, preferred DNS server, I'm going to put the DNS server address of my existing domain controller. So that is 192.168.1.10. And the alternative DNS server is going to be itself. So 168.1.11. That should be it for your IP settings. Yeah. One important thing to mention is once we've promoted this to a domain controller, you're going to want to put the preferred DNS server as itself. So this, in my case, would be .11 and the alternative DNS would be the other, D the other domain controller. But we'll go through that later. Okay, so now we're going to install the Windows features. So we're going to go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. I'm going to hit Next, Next, and you're going to install Active Directory Domain Services and hit Add Features. So it wants to install these tools and PowerShell modules. And we're going to also we're going to select DNS. So we want to add this as a DNS server. Click next, next, next again, next, and we're going to hit install. Once that is completed, just hit close. Now that is installed. So now you'll see this exclamation mark. And oh, one more thing I forgot is first we want to add it to the domain. So local server, and then we're going to hit change and add this to your domain. So this is my domain. And then the logon box will ask for, for uh, credentials. So you want to use an account that has permission to add devices to your domain, which is normally the uh, domain administrator account. And then give that a restart on my log back in. Before we jump on to the next section, I just want to in introduce our InfraSOS platform, which is uh, an Active Directory reporting and auditing, as well as for Office 365 and Azure. So if you want to check it out, we've got hundreds of different types of uh, reports on users, groups, account status, admins. We've also got health and security reports, so you can drill down and check the full security and compliance for your Active Directory and make sure it's all been set up correctly. Check it out, link in, in the description. So here you can see now we've, we've been added to the domain. So log in. Again, I'm going to log in with the domain administrator account. And then once you've opened up Server Manager, you'll see this exclamation mark. Click on that. Now we're ready to promote the server to a domain controller. And then on this screen, as we are adding to an existing domain, add a domain controller to an existing domain. And it's already selected our domain. And then you're going to want to supply the credentials for a domain administrator. So I'm already logged in, so it's going to use the current user. If you need to change it, then just hit change. OK, so it wants me to supply an account name. Let's just put in my username and password again.
So now it's got the domain admin. It was using the local admin. It was using the local account. So we're going to use select the defaults, leave them as they are. And here, because I haven't set up any sites in Active Directory sites, I'm just going to leave it on the default. And here you're going to set the password for the directory services restore mode. So this is the password that was used setting up the primary domain controller. And then we're going to hit next. Going to hit next again. Can ignore that. And we're going to choose to replicate from any domain controller. Or you can specify. As I've only got one, I'm just going to let it detect that. Choose the path to store the database and log files. Hit next. Check everything is okay. Hit next and it will do a pre pre check. Let that run. There we go. Successful. So now we just hit install. Let that run. After the install, it automatically reboots and then you get the login screen. So I'm going to log in with my account. This is the domain admin account that I've got. Now the first thing you want to do is update the DNS addresses on your network card to point to itself. That's the recommendations. So a change network adapter. And we're going to put dot one. And then we're going to put the primary domain as the secondary. And that's it. Active Directory is now running with two domain controllers. And you can confirm that in Active Directory users and computers under the domain controllers. I've now got two domain controllers running. Now, you want to log back on to the primary domain controller. So I'm logged on here already. And you want to update the DNS server addresses <clears throat> on its network card to point to the other domain controller so it knows all about it. So open up properties and you want to put the alternative address to the secondary DC. Okay. And now we're going to check the replication. So the following command is going to force uh, a sync between domain controllers. I'll leave a link in the description that talks about the command into more details, more detailed. And then if we then run the following command, this will check the status, the replication. And here you can see successful. And I'll we'll check on the other domain controller as well. So I'm on the second one now, same command, boom, successful. And that's it. You're now running Active Directory with two domain controllers. So check out my other video about uh, enabling Active Directory auditing. And now we, we want to make sure that you're uh, actively monitoring your user activity. Check the video in the description. Thank you.